Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with an update of all the news of the Montgomery County Council for this first week in February. We begin this week with an update on the Paul Sarbanes Transit Center in Silver Spring. Concerns have arisen surrounding some concrete that was poured by private contractors on the reinforcing bars on the top floor that was not compliant with industry standards. Construction was to be completed by July, but these new concerns have set that date back indefinitely. We're evaluating just exactly how serious this problem is. Early indications are it could be a very serious problem. The contractor is disputing that, believes that the building is structurally sound. Uh, of course, the issue really is did the contractor meet the specifications in the contract? And presumably those specifications were put in for a reason. So we are looking at this. The contractor is looking at this. The contractor needs to come up with a remediation plan. On behalf of my, of my residents that I represent in Silver Spring, they have been so patient since 2008, um, how they've had to figure out how to get in and, in and outside of the metro. They've changed where the buses pick them up and drop them off. This could take a long time. We're not talking about a short delay. We could be talking about a delay of years. In other news, introduction of two zoning text amendments and one bill that address the future of big box retail in the county. The zoning amendments deal with providing opportunities to create mixed use environments to limit potential adverse impact of big box retail. The bill would require those retailers who receive more than $100,000 in grants from the county's Office of Economic Development to pay a living wage to its employees. This particular parcel in which there's going to be a Walmart proposed can only go forward in the old suburban style. And that's not what we want for our community. It's not what we will have in this part of our community when we turn to it in our master plan in two years. So I'm just simply accelerating, if you will, that process of ensuring that if there is going to be a big box store, that it be consistent with our vision of the future, not the past. We think that they should have to go through very stringent um, uh, requirements to get approval. And this um, ZTA just requires any big box retailer, combination big box retailer, 50,000 square feet or larger to go through a special exception process, which gives our residents a lot of say in what that retailer will be you know, providing in that community. The bill would make sure that Montgomery County does not subsidize uh, Walmart style big boxes, that we don't use taxpayer money that comes to us from good jobs and use that money to create bad jobs. So it's, it's a restriction, it's a sort of a preventative measure so that um, in our economic development uh, incentives we are trying to create high quality jobs that can support our quality of life. And finally, the council held its first Shaping Our Future session designed to take an in-depth look at issues that could have an impact on the county's future planning needs. The first session focused on the county's changing demographics and how they may impact our educational needs. The real impact on school enrollment right now is not new development. It's actually the turnover of single family homes. So for example, the senior couple across the street from me in their 90s, they're thinking of, uh, thinking of selling. There hasn't been children in that house for probably almost 40 years. And all of a sudden when that house sells, you're probably gonna get two or three children. That's the real impact. So it's important to see what's changing, where it's changing, and how it's changing. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. Thanks for watching. I'm Susan Kennedy. That's how quickly a flash flood can destroy a road. 100 down, 25 and down, 50, and 5, 50, but 75. Yep. We're done, 16, 2, and down, 3. Yeah. Sold them to you, 16, 2. These are people that loaded up the computer. It's a family getting a computer, and uh, in general, most of them, it's the first one they're getting.